Alright, hey, it's 360 Mods and Hacks, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mod your common.ff in World at War Zombies. Um, this common.ff uh, basically holds the points and uh, most of the data found in the game, such as double points, um, stuff like that, like insta kill, timer, and all that stuff. Alright, so bear with me here because this is about the second or third time I've ever done this, but I know you're going to need a ISO. Okay. Um, yeah, you're gonna need an ISO. You're gonna need um out of here I'll show you. Okay, you're gonna need um hex workshop. Okay, just or HXD, but I prefer hex workshop. You need simply zip. Okay. I'll try to put the links in the description, but some I just got because my friend sent me some, so alright, so yeah, this over here because I'm not gonna need it. Alright, so let's make a new folder called points. Alright. Now let's go into uh, WX360. It's always a crucial one. File open. Go find your ISO. Alright. This is after you stealth patch it, so make sure you stealth patch it first. Alright, just make sure you stealth patch it. Um, that's with ABGX. You can go to my other videos to view that. Alright, so we're gonna extract some things. First of all, the common.ff you're going to extract to that folder that we just made called points alright you're going to take the um, code post actually no never mind All right. okay then you're going to um, oh, whoops. then you're going to take the default .xx and extract it to that folder too okay so we got that down alright so now in your points folder you should have a common.ff and a default.xex Alright, this common.ff. You're gonna open that and um hex yeah, with hex workshop. Okay. You're gonna take these first twelve. Okay, it's the it's usually the one that first it's the it's the first twelve bytes. Okay, you're gonna press control X or cut. You're gonna click yes. Okay. You're gonna go to file save. Um I'm gonna click no because I don't need a backup to pro. <laughs> Alright, and then you're going to open up Hex Workshop again. Okay, and then you're going to press Control V or Paste. Wait, click New. There we go. Okay, so you should see your first 12 bytes here. Click, click File, Save. Name it 12 bytes, or first 12 bytes, and save it in the Points folder. Okay, now we can exit that. Okay, now open up Simply Zip. Okay, go to External Programs and then go to Z Lib Pack Unpack. Okay, click Decompress, oh, and then go find that Points folder, and then take the comma.ff and make sure it's on Decompress, and then click Start. Decompression Finish. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and actually. Just minimize simply zip. Okay. All right. So now, in your points, you should just have a common. So you're gonna right click, open that in hex workshop. Okay. You're gonna press Control F. You're gonna type in. Yeah. You're gonna type in. Make it a text string, and then type in zombie underscore score. Okay. Now, yours shouldn't be modded. I don't know why I'm that high. So, oh yeah. Cause I labeled it right. Okay, so leave the start at 500. That's no way it's gonna change. Okay, then a zombie score kill. Okay, um, just tr I would put that as 999 if I were you, but it's up to you. Zombie score damage. Okay, you can see I have more digits right here. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven digits, whereas you guys probably only have like about three or four. Okay, here's how to do it. You're first of all. Let me uh, delete this. Okay. Um, okay, your double points will look like this. Okay. Now, you're going to take this and change that to a 9. Okay, now you're going to take this, highlight it, right click, delete. Click delete, yes. Okay, now go into that 999. Yeah, that thing right there. Okay, and then you're going to click insert. Make sure it's a decimal, number of bytes, 
however many you took off from the double point, so it's one. Okay? Uh, that's really all there is to it right there. Um, you can take this off from anywhere. Um, I mean, I just get it from the double points. And, um, because, I mean, the double points, when you first get it, it'll start at, um, what is it? What did I set it to? Nine, right here. But then it'll continue, uh, 30 throughout the game. Okay? But I'm gonna upload this just in case you're too lazy to go do all this. So, don't really worry. Okay, and you're gonna click File, Save. I'm not gonna save it because this is shit. <laughs> Alright. Whatever. Alright, now you're gonna take, um, Wait, yeah. Now you're gonna take that common dot ff, and yeah, you're gonna take the common dot ff and open it in simply zip. External programs z lib. Okay, you're gonna click compress. Go find it. Uh, common. Click start. Pressure finish. Sweet Jesus. Okay. Now we are going to go um, take this common, go to properties, and take this common.ff and go to properties. Okay. And we are going to go to, I don't know, let's go to freaking Google. Why not Google? Everyone loves Google. Alright. And then, god damn. Okay. We're going to take, yeah. Now we're gonna take the open up the common dot ff and then the common dot zlip. Open both of those up. Okay. Alright, copy the one from common dot ff, the um size, everything before the bytes, put that in Google, then put a subtraction symbol in your number pad. Hold on, let me close some of this stuff. Alright, and then so you get your common dot ff, so you copied that, and then copy this. And then take this number right here, copy, okay, and then open up um, the common.zlip in a hex editor workshop thing, you know what I mean. Okay, go all the way to the bottom, right click, insert, press control V, so it should be the same number that you got in Google, click OK. Okay, you'll get all this shit, okay, press file, save. Alright. Now take your common dot zlip and your common dot ff and they should be the exact same in size. Okay. Twenty nine two thirteen five two four. Twenty nine two thirteen five two four. If they're not, you messed up on the Google part. Okay? So now this is going to be your new thing. Okay. So we're gonna open this up in Hex Edit Workshop. Okay, we're also gonna open up the twelve bytes. Okay, we're gonna copy this 12 bytes. Press Control C. Okay, and then we can, uh, yeah, and then we go over to the comma dot zlip. Okay, and then we're gonna right click and press Insert. Okay, and then oh wait, no, we're just gonna press Control V. Like you're gonna click about right here, right before the seven. Press Control V. Click Yes. Then click File Save. And click No. And that is it. Now you're gonna take this comma dot zlip, open it up. Or open up your ISO, which you should already have done. Okay, um, take the common dot ff, click replace, and then put in the uh, this zlip file right here. Okay, it'll say done right there, and then you're gonna put in the um, default dot xex. Okay, just put that in right. So you'll yeah, you'll put in the common dot ff. Okay, which is this common dot zlip. So you don't put in this common dot ff, okay? You put in the common dot zlip, zlp I should say, and then the default dot xex you replace with the one in your points folder. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna upload all this shit in the description. So for any of you lazy ass white people <laughs> that want this and just don't want to go through this long ass tutorial, then um, you can do it a lot easier by just injecting it into your ISO. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe after the video. Uh, thanks.